Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily draw this realistic eye in just five easy steps using Procreate. And remember, if you enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. The first thing you're going to need to do is create an initial sketch of your eye. There should be a few key components to your sketch. They are the pupil, iris, eyelids, and eyebrow. Unless you are drawing a very wide open eye, it is important to remember that the top eyelid will always cover the top portion of the iris. You can experiment with different eyelid positions to create different expressions. The first thing you'll need to do when adding color is pick a baseline skin tone. In this example, we're using quite a fair skin color. You'll also need to choose a few different shades of your skin tone. A good rule of thumb to follow is to move the hue towards purple and decrease the brightness of your color to achieve darker shades of your skin tone. The way you blend colors plays a big role in adding shape and depth to your eye, so it's important to pay attention to how your light source interacts with your drawing. When it comes to drawing eyebrows, we start by defining the position, color, and shape using a larger brush. We'll then go back and begin to draw individual hairs to add detail and realism. When drawing hairs, it's important not to be repetitive. We can do this by incorporating different hair thicknesses and lengths by varying our hand pressure. The iris is incredibly detailed and complex, so in order to create a realistic eye, it's important to replicate as much of this detail as possible in our artwork. We're going to begin by applying a base color and then using various shades to build our iris in multiple layers. This will help us to create depth within our eye. Also, note that we're drawing in a single direction. Our drawing path starts in the middle of the pupil and extends outwards towards the edge of the iris. This will help us replicate the eye structure and texture. As you know, eyes aren't dry, so details such as reflections and highlights are vital when creating realism. They will create contrast and really help your eyes stand out. To finish off our eye, we're going to add some lashes. When adding eyelashes, we're going to use a very thin brush and draw each hair individually. Similarly to drawing eyebrows, we're going to avoid unrealistic, repeating patterns by varying the length, direction, and thickness of each hair to give a more natural appearance. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And don't forget to leave a comment on what you want to see next. See you in the next video!